Hello everyone. How many times have we seen examples of this project, that project, stating, you know, they got these connections to these banks and whatnot. But how about this? Swift, Quant, all of the banks. And even towards the end of this outline, I am going to share with you some key findings in regards to Jasmine. Sony and Swift, was that ever a real thing? You better believe it is. Let's get right into the material. Smash the like if you haven't done so already. Consider sticking to the end of the outline. You're definitely going to want to hear this. And like I've always stated before, watch in 2x if you don't have the time. Watch the key chapters. Listen to those if you don't have the time. But whatever the case be, find the material that you need if you don't have time to listen to this whole thing. Let's get down to business. Let's get right into it. Here we go. So straight from the Swift site, this particular update, they update their site quite often. First thing we're going to get into is full screen this. Talks about simplify identity and mandate management. The need for all this. It says now there's a simpler way for corporates and banks to manage digital signatures and message authentication. Read more. You better believe we're going to read some more. I'll take you over to here. It mentions the whole thing when we click on read more of a multi-network digital identity solution with 3s key corporate users have a single token and password to authenticate transactions with all their banks ending the inefficiency of multiple devices passwords and processes it goes on to mention that they developed the 3s key with the bank community to provide an interoperable multi-bank solution that maintains banks control over their identity registration processes goes on to also mention and mention excuse me this area down here and i'll play that video for you guys here in a moment it talks about all their solutions for corporations and more importantly this part down here about how corporate users of electronic banking services can use a single token and password to authenticate and secure transactions with all their banks again key area of focus all their banks okay this thing is scalable it's got shared infrastructure but again it's the maintenance and updating it for like all their users are part of swift and so on okay want to establish that moving forward okay so now i'm going to get into the video here we go Beyond the efficiency of a single device and the added security that 3S Key provides, there are three main benefits of the 3S Key solution. 3S Key is a direct response to the demands of your customers. The shared infrastructure still allows you to keep control of your own customer identity protocols, ensuring you are not dependent on other financial institutions, while significantly reducing your own IT expenditure. Corporate customers are struggling with the multitude of identity solutions that their different banking partners provide individually. They are demanding a single solution that can be used with all their banks and all their banking requirements. With 3S Key, you retain control of the identity and KYC of your customers. You don't have to rely on any identity management or PKI of other banks, and there are no complex contracts between banking institutions. Your client can get 3S Key from any of their banking partners, and they will then independently register their 3S Key token with each banking partner separately. You choose how you register your customer using your existing KYC processes. You can use data from 3S Key to verify signatories and entitlements from multiple users within an organization. As a bank, the additional information that 3S Key provides you with removes lots of rejections and therefore limits costly manual checking. 3S Key has been built on commonly used industry standards. This simplifies the integration of the solution into your applications, while all the time ensuring maximum security. Secured by Swift, your global partner, 3S Key is a PKI based solution that uses cutting-edge cryptographic technology, saving you from investing in your own identity management technology. Join the 3S Key revolution. Take the next step in digital identity 
and speak to your Swift representative today. Or visit 3ski.com for more information. Key area of focus moving forward, especially if you stick it out to the end. I'm telling you flat out, if you're thinking about getting the QNT or Jasmine or some of these other ones, stick it out, okay? So PKI, remember that key three letters, PKI. Seriously, take notes, PKI. All right, the next thing we're going to get into is we're going to pull up some other key things, and here it is. It's a little screenshot, if you will, in regards to that video, okay? So area of focus is some of these key things. On the frozen frame, you see where it says wire transfer and international expedited bank-to-bank -bank funds transfer goes on to also mention on the top part electronic funds transfer an umbrella term mostly used for bank card based payments email money transfer and online banking transfer between canadian banks for example remember how we talked about satp yeah if you've been studying that you already know you're already there right so there's that look at this other thing talks about for example wire transfer and international expedited bank to bank funds transfer on the blue part for gray spencer okay the other part i want to get into is if you were to go to swift.com 3s key talks about for example a multi-bank and multi-network personal identity or i should say personal digital identity solution and it goes on to mention these important notifications okay Missions about the whole thing about the new release of software version 4.2 and how this version is required to support this new token model 5110 plus that will be released in 2025. Also, support, excuse me, supports the current token model, which is 5110. And of course, they have more information about that. So I take you over to this next part that's important. This flew under the radar for everybody. Latest release was literally September 2024, and it's a requirement moving forward, okay? As I take you to the next part, I want you guys to see this. It talks about the token software upgrade, like if you're part of Swift, how to, you know, go about this and so on. And again, the, like a mandate, if you will, all right? Now, you may not think this is that important, it's just on the Swift side of things, Okay. Well, at the end of the day, what is the Swift token client? Well, it's developed by Swift and it's used by two users of Software Informer. The most popular version of the product, of course, is 4.1. But the whole thing is the product will soon be reviewed by their informers. But like it says, they have this thing of a desktop token and crypto storm client. So again, crypto, you know, messaging, all this stuff, right? As I take you to this next part, it's an old video, okay? But the point is, pound at home the need for a solution, okay? The video is poor quality. I do apologize on that. You could complain to Swift about, you know, the person not recording in HD. But um, nonetheless, I'm actually going to keep it zoomed out for you can see it a little bit better so it's not so pixely. Then we'll come right back. Here we go. Our clients are not happy with having several devices and uh, so many passwords to remember. We cannot uh, build as many solutions as we have uh, corporates banking with us. So of course, we understood the need for one device and this device had to be standard and international. The free key experience we had in Airbus, it's a, a journey that we intend to do to first simplify all the devices we are using in France, in Germany, in UK, and also in Spain. The second is to upgrade our knowledge and also upgrade our efficiency in uh, using the Swift network. And the third one is harmonizing the process, harmonizing also the way we are working. And uh, even if we are in Germany, in UK or in France, we can always use the same tool and the same way to pay. I think that we are entering in an era where we will have to check many things, when we'll have to trace every action so that the idea will be to know at uh, any time who has done what and when, and to be able to trace it 
to keep it as legal proof for a long time, with uh, uh, human beings being named, and uh, to, uh, the idea is to know who has done what when, okay? And this starts with the identification and the, of the individuals and the keeping of the, the proof all the way down. In France, in Germany, in UK or in Spain, I'm much more interested to speak with my partners, with my bank, about the global issues and really to increase our synergy and our optimized way of working on the global view. In France, we had solutions uh, we more or less shared, uh, which were technically uh, interoperable. But we faced a problem regarding acceptance uh, by uh, banks, uh, so that we had to enter bilateral agreements, and uh, we spent years uh, trying to find a common uh, setting. For us as a corporate, with users which are not always very uh, well uh, uh, IT-oriented and so on, it's extremely easy to use. Simple, we order the token, it's delivered, we just go to a portal, we con the connection is easy, the interface is user-friendly, we will have more control, we can automatize the control with the bank, we are going to use the same way to communicate, and that will increase our reputation and our also security. And that is also what we are pursuing, the aim we are pursuing, is for the same cost, to get more. Cost and feasibility uh, of maintaining several devices, uh, as many devices and solutions as we have corporates, is unthinkable. For us, the concept has been validated and approved. So we are expecting to go live with our uh, bank uh, credit uh, agricole uh, CIB very soon. We expect now to take on board new bank, BBVA, IPO. Uh, we expect to be uh, in this kind of relationship very soon with them. We think the solution is, frankly speaking, very stable very useful. We very much liked the SWIFT approach which enabled us to, to comply with our own uh, security processes. That's why we uh, really appreciated the 3 key solution uh, and why we are uh, going to roll it out in all our products. Okay, getting into the next part. That's important. So I'm going to share this with you guys. Some of you guys have already seen this maybe on X and that's okay. Bottom right area in regards to ISO TC307 in regards to also quant. Gilbert Verdian, convener of SG7 interoperability, TC307, ISO TC307 or liaison for an APA. Okay. As we get further into the outline, there's going to be some significance of why I'm pointing that out because there's another key liaison and nobody ever talked about it i have no idea why nobody ever talked about it but it's important and especially when it comes to not just quant but even jasmine all right i'm gonna take you over to this this is another document this document is from rand europe understanding the landscape of distributed ledger technologies blockchain challenges opportunities and the prospects for of course standards key thing here standards if we drop it down on the search it talks about 3S key for banks by SWIFT authentication schemes provided by CA technologies or open standard decentralized authentication protocols such as OpenID. And more importantly, it talks about some of these key things here where they feel as though that they think anywhere where data is being used, consumed, shared, and distributed standards are important from basic control point of view and security standpoint. Right, standards. This other thing I want to get into is... The only two ones they reference here, basically speaking, of examples of existing standards is ISO TC 307 and, of course, R3. And as we know, both of those lead the charge as far as what? Yeah, the RLN. Okay, we've already been there. We've already done that. But that's huge. That's extremely significant. As we get to the next part, hey, let's reference the competition Finaxtra interviews Axway, the promise of Swiss 3S key. Listen to this as well. Draw your own conclusions on this. If you've been studying quant for a while, I'm telling you flat out you already know. If you're new to this, pay attention to this as well. Here we go. Hi, and welcome to Finextra at Cybos TV. And today I'm talking to Matthias Bonnard of Axway. And, you know, Cybos is a big banking conference, but it's also really a SWIFT conference, and they, they announce a lot of initiatives. So which initiative coming out of SWIFT do you think is the most promising for wholesale banking? Yeah, actually, if I had to pick one, pick one of the SWIFT initiatives that, uh, that's been discussed at Cybos, I, I would actually, and it may not seem like the uh, sexiest one, but I would pick actually a 3S key. Yes. Um, 
at Axway when we think that if banks want to uh, streamline, they want to dematerialize uh, processes that are actually uh, very much time consuming and paper based, paper based, if they want to move to more STP, to more automation, they will have to find a way to authenticate securely and individual, individually their, their corporate uh, users at the other end. So, and that's what 3SK is all about. And one of the major uh, obstacles um, these days for the adoption of digital certificates and signatures is actually the, the fact that corporates have several banks. They don't, they don't want to get into the, the hassle having several uh, certificates, which mean having to carry and manage several devices, one, one per bank because uh, actually it, means, it also means that the management of those certificates is very complex because it's, it involves a life cycle and they don't want to go into that, that trouble. And that's what 3SK actually the uh, value proposition is, to offer those corporates a multi-bank, uh, recognize the same device recognized by all their banks. Simple and secure. Exactly. Well. You mentioned about elect, uh, electronic, you know, documents. Last year at Cybus, eBAM got a lot of attention. So, you know, what what's the relationship between eBAM and 3SK? Yeah, actually, account management in one of those processes, processes that I was talking about, actually would gain uh, at being de dematerialized because it's very time consuming. It's based on a lot of paper exchange between the corporates and and the banks. So. Um, as, as, you, as you realize that the, the account management transactions are extremely sensitive and uh, confidential, it requires the use of digital uh, certificates. And uh, of course, eBAM is uh, compatible with 3 keys, which means you can use 3 key certificates to, to sign all the transactions, uh, all your eBAM transactions. So, are you, in, apart from EBAM and sort of the bank to corporate relationship, what are some of the other potential uses of 3SK? Well, actually, what we've seen in Europe is that a lot of the corporate to bank communication in terms of payment transaction, uh, um, a lot of users have tried to, to use digital certificates, but it hasn't gained really much traction because it was complicated and, and the multi bank device wasn't there. And now that they, when they have two, three SKIs, and we've been seeing that in uh, France most particularly, corporates are really uh, keen on using uh, digital certificates to sign their uh, transactions that they, they have to send to the banks because it actually, uh, the benefit is twofold. Uh, first, it's more secure, it streamlines the process because they don't have to confirm their, their payment orders by a different uh, channel, which they do now, they, they have to send a fax. So it's actually uh, beneficial for at both ends, both for corporates who, who do everything uh, electronically and also on the bank side, which doesn't have to process all those uh, faxes coming in. That's great. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. Thank you. Thank You're you. welcome. Okay. I think you get it in regards to that. Next part we're going to jump into. Check this out. Straight from quant.network. Look at this for yourself. Let me get to the highlights of this. What does it say here? Quant launches central bank gray key management solution for blockchain transactions. Area of importance is understanding three tabs, enterprises, financial institutions, key management, and this part. Did we forget about overledger authorized? No, we did not. Because from Gilbert Verdin on the right side, it says we have secured and simplified the adoption of digital assets for banks, institutions, and enterprise developers. But how so? Again, don't forget about the authorized product from Overledger. It solves the problem of how banks and institutions can manage and integrate digital asset and blockchain private keys with their existing enterprise key management systems. Again, emphasis on what? Key management systems. Enabling end-to-end -end authorization of transactions seamlessly across existing systems and blockchains. That is why I shared those two videos with you. It pounds this statement home 110 percent authorize has recently been stress tested and proven to work in project Roslyn. right we've been there and we've done that a flagship central bank digital currency experiment led by the bank of england and bank for international settlements with banks institutions and industry participants we are now making the technology more widely available yeah all right Check this out. Another reference. Let's take you over to allmybanks.com. I know. I keep mentioning all my banks. 3S key. Personal electronic certificate for your payments. Okay. And 
you know, we already got into the whole thing about 3S key, but this key area, remember that guy from Finaxtra mentioning Ebix? Mm hmm Gets really, really good because when you understand that, then you understand the whole thing of having to have an like an authorization for individuals, like it says, within a company to have their own 3S key certificate in the form of a token. More importantly, for they can prove the sending of a transfer file to their bank. Okay, and I know you guys are waiting and you want to see the whole thing of like quant connection and so on. I'm telling you we're going to get there. But again, I wanted to point that out. The other thing I want to jump into is again, Ebex banking communication protocol. You know, some people are pulling some of this stuff out. Well, again, what is Ebix? So Ebix in itself is the banking protocol used in France, Germany, Austria, Switzerland. But there's three countries that have a different version of the protocol. Ebix 3.0 was thus created to offer what? Harmonized version. Technical characteristics and functionalities are all the same for all the user, all those using it in those particular countries. Okay, And if anything, that launched back in 2010. Now, as I take you to the next part, Remember how I mentioned the whole thing about September? Look at this. Ebix references September. They said we kindly request comments by September 16, 2024, because again, it's this upgrade. And they're talking about how all this has to be completed by the end of 2024. Otherwise, your personal data will be deleted. Yikes. All right, look at this. If we jump over to docu.billwork.plus, I know, crazy site, right? Uploading SEPA XML to the bank gets interesting because we know the connection of SEPA with Quant. I'll reference that here again a little bit. But SEPA, look at this. EBIX stands for Electronic Banking Internet Communication Standard. Offers corporate merchants the possibility to quickly and flexibly process inter excuse me, internet-based payment transactions with their bank at the highest security level with the integration ebix in a bill work merchants can send sepa direct debits directly from billwork to their bank and import their camt account statements with a single click all right that's just one example billwork for example there's more because it talks about cdd direct debit initiation and more importantly even credit transfers, okay? But constant references to what? SEPA, all right? Now check this out. If you weren't aware of what SEPA stands for, it stands for Single Euro Payments Area. More importantly, part of the European Central Bank Euro System. The payment integration triggered by SEPA has contributed to the efficiency and competitiveness of the European economy as a whole by eliminating differences between national cross-border payments by harmonizing Again, some of the terminology here, standards in all the participating countries, all, okay? Now, guess what? Let's take you, for example, over to this, because what do you see here? Well, you see SEPA, instant payments, why banks need to act now. August 27, 2024, remember that call to action? And more importantly, it says in 2024, despite the relatively good coverage with 71% PSPs, which means payment service providers in the euro area offering instant payments, the share of instant payment transactions and in all SEPA payments, everybody, has only reached 17%. This has led to regulatory intervention to facilitate further adoption of instant payments under the new regulation. Payment service providers, PSPs, will be expected to implement instant payments in a short time frame for, or adjust, I should say, the implementation of existing instant payment infrastructures. All PSPs offering SEPA payments will be mandated to offer SEPA instant payments and charges applied by PSPs in respect to instant credit transfer, like I just showed on the other screen. Transactions in euros cannot be higher than the charges applied to non-instant credit transfer transactions in the euro. However, all PSPs in the eurozone would be required to enable their clients to receive CPN, excuse me, instant payments by the 9th of January 2025 and send SEPA instant payments by October 9th of 2025. Okay? And of course, as we know, this whole thing of quant and sepa already been there done that right they have had a established connection a long time ago 
But what is next for banks? Well, the European Union's move to accelerate the adoption of instant payments in Europe puts pressure on banks that haven't yet implemented instant payments to assess their readiness to comply and prepare for the upcoming implementation. Again, understand the significance of that. All right. What I'm going to do now is this. I'm actually going to share with you a particular document. Remember I was talking about pay attention to the whole thing of PKI? I said that earlier, didn't I? Well, check this out. PKI, why is that so significant? Well, basically speaking, this is straight from the ISO org site. And as you see on the screen, it mentions plain as day, in light of growing interest in DLT, blockchain standardization efforts have gathered momentum, particularly with the setting up of the ISO Technical Committee on Blockchain and Electronic Distributed Ledger Technologies, ISO TC307 Blockchain and Distributed Ledger Technologies. Then it goes on to say that ISO DTR 23245 states the essential part of key life cycle management of blockchain is similar to an ordinary PKI type system. Some blockchain applications do not have the revocation process for the key pair. In such cases, different type of key management process is needed. My goodness, there's your boil it, mash it, stick it in a freaking stew because ISO TC 307 fills that need it says consideration of the major implications and the impact that dlt blockchain will have on current pki implementations for financial services is essential to minimize any potential disruption and the scope this document describes the management of cryptographic keys in blockchain or distributed system used in the financial sectors and more importantly the objective of this document is to consider the impact of different types of key management processes that are required for PKI implementations in blockchain and DLT projects. Holy cow. All right. So with that said, I'm now going to introduce something to you. And it was something I stumbled upon by accident researching other liaisons other than just an APA and the quant plug to that. Here's one that I looked all over on X and didn't see a single person mentioning it. It's no knock on them. I just discovered it. So, you know, it's a new thing, but it's been out for a while. And again, nobody has a clue that it is connected to quant through what? ISO TC307, the quant network standard. I'm going to pull this up on your screen. Some of you guys know about Etsy, but you don't, for the most part, know about this okay so i'm gonna jump down to this again and this is sen senelic listen to this pay close attention to this it states here it's a committee in europe for standardization and it's part of this whole thing called european committee for electro technical standardization they're recognized by the eu they're recognized by efta as a European standardization organization responsible for developing standards at European level. And it goes on to mention towards the bottom, key highlights, there are numerous standards under development within Senselic and the strategy which is public considered between their pivotal highlights, digital transformation, international cooperation, like task force with, listen to this, the Gulf, India, Japan, China, Africa. I mean, you think about all that, China, wow, you know. But anyway, again, mentions Japan. We'll get more into the whole Jasmine thing towards the end of the outline. But some of the key interesting standards that are under development, at least at the time, for digital society, because, you know, I did mention we're going to get into the Jasmine part, because, you know, Jasmine stands out when it comes to Society 5.0 is this thing called CEN slash WS084. It's a self-sovereign identifier for personal data ownership and usage control. So listen to this. When we get further down, it talks about what they're networked with. And it says for services, they have this whole thing in regards to SEN T slash TC278 intelligent transport systems. But recently, SEN Selic, SEN Selic, excuse me, has approved what 
liaison with Etsy, ISG, PDL, and that's not personal data locker, by the way. And a new TC will act as a mirror with ISOTC 307. Now, my goodness. So when I got more into this, I thought to myself, we mean act as a mirror. You know, like, okay, if that's the case, then, you know, who would be the mirror? If I was you, I'd be asking that. Well, at the end of the day, keep in mind that even though Send Select has been approved as a liaison with SC, ISG, PDL, and acts as a new TC, okay? Well, again, who's that mirror? Well, the answer basically is the mirror TC for ISO TC 307 for Send Select is just that, ISO TC 307. So, yes, it's still with the quant network some people say it's that simple yes it's that simple how so well basically speaking it's the establishment of a connection or cooperation between the two organizations obviously Senselec and the whole thing of quant to ensure alignment however with iso tc 307 a new technical committee which is tc if you wonder what tc stands for technical committee within Senselec, of course will be created this TC will act as a mirror, that reference, to what? ISO TC 307. Interesting. Meaning it will essentially replicate the work and activities of ISO TC 307 within the SenseCentelec framework. Therefore, the mirror, which is TC, is simply ISO TC 307. It mirrors the quant network standard. My goodness. Just thought I'd put that out there. Now, I'm going to take you over to this. This is where it gets really good, even with the Jasmine plug. Okay? So... What you're going to see here is a mention about digital society, emerging technologies. And more importantly, it's understanding like some of these things about successful adoption in Europe and emerging technical standards. And as you see, JTC works in close contact with ISO TC 307. And it mentions all these key things about JTC 1. And I referenced in the past, you know, ISO, IEC, JTC and basically what do we see in regards to that jasmine became iso iec 27001 certified you know and the whole thing isms okay but what do you see right next to it artificial intelligence and what do you see in regards to jasmine junction emphasis artificial intelligence interesting this has been around since 2021 but again it's understanding how you get to the adoption or mass adoption and they have subcommittees they have this whole thing of producing standardization deliverables not just around europe but what's more important is understanding they have working groups as we speak focus groups i should say in regards to ai okay so now more examples of iso tc 307 the quant network standard with ai Seeing more liaisons popping up, which is Sen Senelic. I know I said Sen Senelic. And that is, that's a big deal. You better believe it's a big deal. Now, as I take you over to the next part, you may be thinking, well, just because you referenced it, Max, they might not be active. The heck they aren't. Sen and Senelic, excuse me, can be followed over at Standards for EU. They are the European Policy Hub. And they had their annual in-person meeting, a perfect opportunity, like it says, for in-depth exchange between our members of important EU policy topics affecting standardization. And you see all these ladies there, okay? And how long ago was it posted? October 1st, 2024. And nobody realizes that these people are basically liaisons connected to quant through standards. You know, because they are a standard themselves. They are a mirror of ISO TC 307. My goodness. All right. Here's another thing I want to take you to. SendSenelec.eu. Okay. Page 6 of 9 of this PDF about European Declaration. Call for action once again, everybody. Look what it says. Focus to secure ample capital within Europe for research and mass production. New carbonization technology standards help create those favorable conditions. Okay. And what does it say towards the bottom? Optimizing consumption of renewable power while maintaining security of supply. Grids with high degree of interoperability. How many times do we reference 
what's going on with the grids, and especially the whole thing of like Tadashi Morita and you know, recognizing some of these things that he's tied into with IEEE, right? But again, interoperability, okay? Standards make an important contribution to speed up the energy transition. So take it to the next part. What about ISO and IEC? Boom, Boilet Match is sticking to steel once again by cooperating with ISO and IEC. The national members of SEN and SEN elect ensure that the European expertise fosters international innovation and more importantly free trade agreements and digital partnership agreements boom and they're going to fully leverage that by the way and then how about this well you mentioned the whole thing of you know jasmine max that means japan right absolutely do you have anything recent this year i do dating back to april of this year 2024 Sen Senelec has 10 years of cooperation on standards between Europe and Japan. I mean, my goodness. If I was Hara, I would be reaching out to these people, literally getting them on the phone and saying, hey, look, let's get something done. You know, no pressure on Hara. Okay, love Hara. High respect for the one and only Hara-san. Okay, and what do you see here? Japanese Industrial Standards Committee. You see, once again, celebrations that were held in this year's annual Secretariat meeting. You had guests from the European Commission, the Japanese government, by the way. So this is not just some low-level organization. This is just an organization no one even heard of. Okay? And more importantly, look at this. Connection with EU-Japan Industrial Dialogue Working Group on Standards, Conformity Assessment, and Japanese Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry, it's all there. And that is really, really cool to see some of this. All right. Now, I did mention the whole thing about Swift and Jasmine. I know that sounds crazy, right? Well, understand this. Jasmine, Kunitake Ando, Kazuma Sasato, Hagawara-san, Yoshida in the past, right? They're all former Sony executives. They've all worked for Sony. Okay, so there's that. Look what it says if you go to swift.com slash news dash events and about the 26 new corporates that joined Swift Asia Pacific a while ago. This is a long time ago, but it pounds at home because you might not have been aware of it. Back in June 4th of 2015, you see Plans Day, Swift for Corporates Program gains momentum in Asia Pacific. And re originally reported from Hong Kong, mentions this whole thing, believe it or not, of how 1450, 1,450 corporate groups globally representing over 20,000 underlying legal entities using SWIFT to manage multiple banking relationships in Asia Pacific, growing number of corporates chose to join SWIFT to exchange financial information with their banking partners through one highly secure standardized communication platform opposed to multiple connections. And more importantly, you see Australia part of this, we know when it comes to Australia, standards with ISO TC 307 already been there, done that. ISO TC 307, you might as well say blank is pretty much all of Australia at this point. But more importantly, what about Japan? Yeah, what about Japan? Sony Corporation. Just in case you weren't aware of it, they do have a swift connection. And here's the other thing that gets really good. Okay. And by the way, Jasmine researchers, shout out to you guys. You're always welcome to share my content. I'm not one of those researchers. They say you cannot share my stuff and quant researchers share my stuff by all means you know we, we all want to see more adoption share all my stuff I, i'm totally cool with whatever you want to chop up totally fine with that look what it says here bank codes go to bank.code slash swift dash code slash japan sony has its own swift code i don't know if anybody even knew that s-n-y-b-j-p-j-t I kind of wonder about why they call it like BJPJT. I mean, maybe that's Bajit. I don't know. That kind of sounds like conspiracy. I get it. But again, there's the code. And what bank? Sony Bank Inc. Interesting. More than interesting. And the final one for you guys. Shout out to all you guys who listened to the whole outline. I don't know. This might be some of the best research ever. I don't know. But if you go to Conto dot com 
another reference, because sometimes you guys want more than one reference, and I get it. So on this citation, Sony Bank Swift code in Japan. And again, what does it say? Swift slash BSC code for Sony Bank. Again, pounds at home. S-N-Y-B-J-P-J-T. There you go. Boom. Once again. Nevertheless, Sony Bank used various codes for different services. But again, Swift, Sony. It's all there. The research speaks for itself. If you listen to this outline, simply do me a favor and simply type into the comments q and t jasmine and i will know that you listen to the entire outline i won't keep you guys any more further i get it not everybody has all the time in the world to listen to this but for the ogs that listen to this shout out to the quant army the quaffy whatever you want to call us shout out to the jasmine navy jasmine army i'm telling you flat out i know what i have i know why i hold it it's because the research does trump flood 110 percent god bless each and every one of you guys. I care about you. I want to see you succeed. I want to see you get to that finish line. I know there's a lot of doom and gloom in the market right now. If anything, not financial advice, but for me personally, I am taking advantage of these dips, as the saying goes. I work three jobs seven days a week. I try to make time for this because I'm enthusiastic about it. I have hopes and dreams just as much as the next guy out there for generational wealth but it ain't gonna get it done i'm not gonna get it done on one job and that's just me i'm not telling people to be like me in that regard there's some of you guys that are out there doing that you guys tell me you work two jobs and so on there's a reason for that so with that said i won't keep you any more further thanks again for watching god bless you all we'll see you on the next one if managing your crypto feels like solving a puzzle it's time to switch to decent wallet Say goodbye to complicated setups and hello to Decent Wallet, the hassle free solution to your digital currency needs. With just a few taps, you can manage, track, and secure your crypto with unmatched ease. And here's the best part grab your Decent Wallet at a discounted price by using the referral link below. Don't miss out on making your crypto experience smoother and more secure.